The plan of the diligent lead to abundance, but everyone who is hasty come only to poverty. In this video, we'll go over risk and money management. Risk and money management play a big role in trading. You need to know your acceptable risk for each trade that you place. Risk measures the improbability that an investor is willing to take to get a gain from an investment. It can also be described as an action or a, an activity that has the potential to go wrong. More risk means higher chances of sizable returns, but also a greater chance of significant losses. Therefore, being able to manage the level of risk to minimize losses while maximizing gain is a skill that any trader should have. To be a successful trader, you need to learn how to manage risk. Some of the fundamentals of risk management include one, uh, appetite for risk or acceptance. This is where a trader should ask, how much am I willing to lose in a single trade? What is the possible acceptance for me for each trade that I place? Two is position size. Selecting the right position size or the number of lots you take on the trade is very important. It will protect your account and maximize your profit opportunities. There are calculators that you can use to determine your lot size based on your account balance and the percentage that you would like to risk. My FX bill has a position size calculator that you can use. So let's take a look at it. So here is the position size calculated by my FX book. You will find the currency pair that you want to trade. And also you can select your currency that you trade in. And also you can, uh, you're going to enter your account size. So for this uh, example, I'm going to put 1000 and then ratio, how much you trying to lose, you're willing to lose per the trade that you take. So if you're not sure, you can just switch it to uh, money. And then, so let's say for my $1,000, I don't mind losing uh, $10 per trade. So I'm gonna go ahead and enter 10. And then how much of a stop loss am I gonna put in the trade, each trade that I put in? So I'm gonna go ahead and do 50. And so 50 would give enough room for the ups and downs so I can get uh, to my profit and your contract size since this is a standard account I'm gonna leave it as it is and then I'm gonna click on calculate so now it tells me that the ratio based on how much I'm supposed to lose is uh, one one percent of my account and the units that I'm gonna lose based on the standard account and also the lot size so this is 0 0.02 uh, so this is two cents my trade I'm supposed to put in a trade for two cents with this stop loss. So if it goes against me, I'm going to lose only $10. So this is the lot size and this is how you find out. So you can play with this to find what is a, an acceptable uh, risk for you. And then you can uh, use that uh, for your trade. So whenever you put a trade in, make sure and make sure you, if you have a, a account, uh, based on your account, uh, make sure you calculate it so you know where your lot size is supposed to be. Do not over trade. Do not have a higher lot sizes. Take the time to grow your account. Three is stop loss. Stop loss is placed to close a trade when a specific price is reached. It is a very effective risk management in forex trading. It helps you decide in advance when to exit the position, helping you in preventing a complete account loss. Fourth is leverage. Leverage allows you to trade with more money than you actually have in your trading account, meaning you have a higher potential to profit, but also a higher risk of losing your money. So manage your leverage carefully. Do not over leverage. Again, do not over leverage. Don't select the highest leverage your broker provides. I personally use one to 500 and it works just fine. Five, it is important to be able to manage the emotions of trading when risking your money in any financial market. Letting excitement, greed, fear, or boredom affect your decision may expose you to an undue risk. So on your platform, assuming that you're gonna be trading Bitcoin, or in this example, I'm gonna be using Bitcoin, and based on the calculator, um, we need to change the lot size before we enter into a trade. So uh, using the uh, moving averages it cross below so it shows it's going into a sale so uh, and my 
Yeah, from the calculator, I got two cents, so I need to change this to 0, uh, 0.02 uh, before I do my sale because my strategy is telling me it's going to be a sale. So then I'll go ahead and issue a sale. So now I'm in the sell trade. Uh, as we talked about, you need to have a stop loss. One of the uh, quick ways that you can uh, do it, you can just double click on, on the trade and then you can enter the stop loss. And yeah, and also you take profit. So whenever it goes against you that much, it will close out a trade. So instead of uh, losing your whole account, you would just uh, lose the acceptable trade. So you can enter your stop loss and also take profit level. level. So once you get to that point, it will close in profit for you. So another way is uh, the line where I first initiated the sale, you can drag on there. If Since I'm doing a sale, if I drag above, this is my stop loss. So if I want my stop loss to be here, I can drag and put a stop loss and it will tell you the amount that you're risking. So when I put this on there, uh, as you see, it will tell me I'm risking 14. So I can move it down to now I'm at $10.11 risk. And then it, how much profit am I willing to get on this trade? When you pull down, uh, I can put somewhere here. So when it reach this level, I'm going to get uh, $9.92. So uh, I'm willing to lose $10.92 in order to gain $9.92. So you can uh, move it to where you think uh, the market is going. And as you can see, the trade is going into profit. So this is a quick way to uh, get uh to create your stop loss by just dragging on the line when you first initiate a trade or you can just double click on the trade here and then you can make some modifications so as you can see the lines are there and then you can still enter it and then click OK and then it will be modified for you so this is um, the easiest way to create add your stop loss and uh, take profit into a trade so remember there will be times that you have to cut your losses and even to prevent that, make sure you use proper loss size, which will be based on your account size. Use a calculator to know how much you are willing to risk before entering a trade. Use stop loss. Do not over leverage. And remember to have your emotions in check. Do not be in a rush. Grow your account steadily. Always practice in a demo before going live. I'll see you in the next video.